Hello everybody, it's Rosemary and I am using a brand new camera and I am about to attempt a tutorial and you're going to have to bear with me, it's the first time I've ever done anything like this but due to popular demand and lots and lots of people asking me about the cradle that I made um, asking for a tutorial on that, I've decided to give it a go. So, please, if you're going to leave a comment, be gentle, because <laughs> I've ne it's never crossed my mind to do a tutorial before. So, here we go. Right, first of all, you're going to need some die cuts, and I have already pre-cut. Out of thin card because I'm really short of chipboard. So I've pre cut some die cuts of the birdcage. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. This die, Tim Hart's birdcage die. Um, so what you need to do is I used, because it's thin card, this is what was on a shirt, you know, to support a shirt. Um, you need two and stick them together or you could use one mil or two mil chipboard. Um, I think I used one mil but doubled it up on the original. Um, so with this I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to double it up so you've got two pieces of card that size and then for the rest, I didn't have much of this card either. <laughs> I chopped it off where I needed it so what you're going to do is just cut those bits off you don't need those so while I'm just chopping them off I'm going to pause the film so you don't have to watch that because it's quite laborious and not really something you need to watch really because I'm sure you know how to cut off a piece of card I mean if you want to once you've cut them off you can sand it over a little bit with an emery board or a piece of sandpaper just to get a nicer finish but for demo purposes I am just going to trim these off best I can as quickly as I can because I'm really nervous about doing this I never ever intended to do tutorials but I've just had so many people saying please do a tutorial I'm new please do a tutorial on your cradle, I want to make one, that I've decided <laughs> maybe I should. <laughs> so I'm just going to pause it for now, if I can remember, I can't remember what button it was. Sorry folks, you're going to just have to watch. <laughs> I know there's a, I've got a new camera you see, and it's, it's got a pause button on it, and now I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> see, it's nerves. I'm a very nervous person. Everything makes me nervous. Anyway, once you've cut these off, um, if you're doing it double, then obviously you need to glue them together. So, right. you need a little paintbrush. And got the cheap glue. I like this one actually, it's really good. It's from The Works and it's one ninety nine for that big bottle and it's brilliant stuff. Don't buy the Eco Glue, it's crap. <laughs> Seriously, it is crap. My I sent my husband to get it for me and he said that they didn't have any in stock. They had, he had one bottle of this and the Eco Glue, glue. and because I'd asked him to get two, he came back with a bottle of the Eco Glue and I used it to try and make my air dry clay because um, I've been trying to make mould as well and let me tell you I haven't been very successful with them either nothing I do seems to work so I've been for a disappointment with this as well um, every single mould that I made with the new glue cracked every single well, mould charm every charm cracked and disaster. So I can't say I was very happy with that. Um, so if you're going to you know, use a 
gonna use this one. It's really good. Right, and then you just stick those together. Like so. But you know how to stick things together. And they ain't sticking, would you believe it? Stick. There's enough glue on there to stick a battleship along with my hair. Oh. It's going to be one of them days, folks. You know, like Elvis said, you ever get one of them days when nothing goes right from morning till night? Do you ever get one of those days? Get them all the time. Right. That's me singing the praises of this glue and then it don't stick. Right, it has now. Alright, so you've got to just continue. And I wish I could remember what the pause button was so you didn't have to watch me do this. But seeing as I can't, I can't remember. I thought I remembered. I never remembered I didn't. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I mean, really, once you, uh, if you watched Fiona's tutorial on the cot, because I mean, she was the one that showed me how to do it using the birdcage dye. I mean, it, it, seriously, it would not have crossed my mind to use that dye for anything other than making bird cages. So, you know, you could always run along and watch Fiona's tutorial. It's much quicker than mine on doing this. Um, uh, Fiona's a professional, you know. <laughs> She's really good. She's brilliant. I love what she does. When I first found her channel, I spent three weeks... And I went through every single video that she had done. And at the time, she was up to 1,700. And at that point, I hadn't actually... I was making cards and stuff. I never really attempted anything else. Um, apart from the boxes and cupboards that I made. But other than that, that was about as um, adventurous as I got. Um, but after I watched all those videos with Fiona... And then I asked her for help with that cradle. It was just, well, I can do quite a lot of things, really, if I put my mind to it. Um, so I'm sure for all you newbies out there that are watching, that you could um, follow Fiona and you will learn so much. Really well. She's not just a teacher at school. She's a teacher on YouTube, as you all well know. So, I'm trying to do it so all the white sides are to the outer side. And the brown bits are on the inside because it's not pretty, is it? Especially when you're painting it. It's easy to paint if you're painting over white. Don't show if you miss any bits. Nearly done. Sorry folks, but it's just the way it is, I'm afraid. I've got a memory like a sieve. You'd think I'd know, wouldn't you? No, I don't. I haven't had the camera very long. I've only had it about a week. I haven't actually filmed anything on it yet. This is the first thing. Um, so, you're just going to have to bear with me, I'm afraid. Trying to be quick so that you don't keep waiting on me doing doing these. I mean they're quite simple really to put together, they don't take a minute, but I hope you can 
and see me okay. Oh, not me, my hands are what I'm doing. Right, last one. Now this one you keep whole because you need this part for your headboard. And once you're done, it won't look like a bird cage as you saw from uh, the crib that I made. It didn't look like a bird cage. I was so pleased with myself when I made that. I thought, oh wow, look what I did. I've got some more things I'm trying to make, but um, run into a few problems that resolved yet so until I resolve them I can't actually show you what those projects are. And they're really really sticky. Yeah, they don't like it. I don't mind getting dirty but they don't like being sticky. They don't like the gooey gooey. Last one, put them together. I mean, if you want, you can um, stick something on them to make sure you get a good stick. But really, they should be alright. I mean, I could have done it without doing all this, but I didn't, so <laughs> I won't. And do you know, I've just realised I haven't put my glue gun on. Oh, dearie me. I thought I was going to be all prepared and everything, and I'm not. I'm so not. The only thing I was prepared with was the die cuts. Anyways, wipe my hands up a bit. A bit of sticking together. Oh, go away. Get rid of the mess. I'm trying to be tidy here, I'm not usually. I've just had to clean up the disaster that was my craft room um, because I actually crafted my dining room and everything was absolutely everywhere. And I mean everywhere. I've got a dining room table here. And Honestly, if you'd have seen the state of that table, you would not have believed it. It was um, covered, absolutely covered, in all my craft stuff, where I sort of migrated across the dining room. And my husband said, you know, he said, you could have to put some of that away, especially with Christmas coming up. He said, we do like to eat out them sitting over there. Because we've got a, a bar that we can eat at. Christmas we had my daughter and her partner over and this year it'd be her and the baby which is great and you know they've got to have somewhere to sit so I've been trying to keep it tidy. Anyway I'll just show you this while I plug in my camera, um, glue gun and let that heat up. Do you know what I came down the other day and this was on and I realised it had been on for three days. I hadn't unplugged it. I completely forgot. So for three days it was plugged in, so I'm hoping it still works. Right, this is the camera that you're viewing me through. Um, it's called the Camellia, Camellia, that one, S30. And it does look pretty good. Um, and like I said, it's got a pause button. Where's that bloody pause button, by the way? Yeah, it's on the box that tells me. <laughs> Saves me looking. No. Anyway. So, yeah, that was... Uh, my husband very kindly said... I said I wanted a camera that had a pause button because my little camera up there doesn't have one. It's um, a little webcam. And it doesn't have one. So, and this, I couldn't figure out and neither could my son, who's usually pretty good on the computer. Couldn't figure out any way of... Um, it's all coming apart. Do you know what I'm going to... I reckon I'm going to have to come back and do this again, because he's a... 
It's not so much that they're coming apart, they're separating the layers. Oh, that's not fair, is it? I cut all those out. That one's alright. No, it ain't. That one's coming away. Um, yeah, my son is pretty good with the internet and stuff, and even my daughter usually pretty good. They couldn't work out any way of pausing it when you record. So I was whinging about it and my husband said, oh, all right, I'll get you a camera. So I assumed he meant for Christmas. And he said, mm, you, know, it's, you know, does it come yet? I said, yeah, it's over there. He said, oh, you can have it. I went, no, it's not for Christmas. And he went, no. I went, yay. <laughs> I got no camera. So, anyway, I'm hoping they're going to stick. I was going to dry them with a heat gun, but I don't know if that's a good idea now. Because it might, oh, you can see there they're blowing apart. I don't know if that's going to work. I said I only got a tiny little bit of chipboard left. I don't even think I've got enough to make another cradle. Uh, apart from which, I've got no one to give it to anyway if I made another one. So I wasn't really keen to do it all in, use up all my chipboard and get stuck with it. That one's fine. Anyway, so for now, it's going to have to be with these. Right, now what you would do now, if my glue gun's hot enough, is you glue them together like that. The two sides first, you glue them to there, like that, and then you glue that and that together. So I'll get my, that. These are those um, baking sheets that you buy in the pound shop. <laughs> I ain't pay nine pounds for a flipping craft mat. Got better things to spend money on. More craft stuff. <laughs> anyway, so you end up with that, basically, and then that's your headpiece, and that's your footpiece. Right. So if my glue guns. Ready? Which I don't think it is. This probably won't work out too easy because I'm doing it for the camera. And like I said, I am very nervous about this. going to glue because the glue that's on here is still white. So, you're going to have to bear with me folks. It either works or it don't. tried before I was ready. Yeah. Look. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Makes you look like a dig. I can't even do a straight line of the globe because I'm just so nervous doing this. You would not believe it. Right. I mean, it's one thing coming on here and saying, look, I made this, and I did this, and I did that. That's one thing. But when you've come on and you want to show people how to do something, I knew I wouldn't be very good at that. So you can just have to grin and bear it, I'm afraid. For those of you that wanted to know. Right, now you would glue this bit to those. Right. So, this one. 
let's see if this works. <laughs> I probably won't know none of that, but mm. I'll try. And then what you need to do, once you've got all these pieces together, you've got to measure it and cut out the base. That one just does not want to be glued. still um, wet. It seems to be drying before the hot glue seems to be drying before um, I can get them. I'm not gluing it actually, I'm just heating the glue that's already there with the nozzle. I often do that. <laughs> I'll get fed up, keep wasting glue and just go over it with the nozzle just to heat it. Sometimes it works. <laughs> Sometimes it does. It's not as close as I'd like it to have been. But um, like I said, this is only a demonstration. And then this one goes on that bit. Like so. I mean, you could really, uh, when you just join the two pieces and the headpiece, put the base on and it would make it a bit more stable, I suppose. You could try it that way. Um, but this is just how Fiona said to do it, so she's the master. I did what she said. Anyway, Fiona, I hope you're feeling okay today and that the swelling's going down. I hope you're not too sore. Right, so that's it so far. So now you need... That's not very square, is it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that side's gone in a bit. I hate wastage even when it's just with glue. It's a bit better. It's because it needs to be on the right on the edge and yeah, it does. It needs to be right on the edge, doesn't it? I've still done it wrong, so I've still got to take it off. Oh dear me. And now it's finally stuck and it's ripping the thing apart, so I'll have to leave it where it is. Oh dear. Leave it where it is. <laughs> that do. Anyway, it's just me being picky. I mean, I don't measure things normally, but I do like things to be fairly straight. Um, what did I do with those bits of cardboard? What I did when I made the original was I made two bases. One to stick in so that you had a nice flat bottom and showed nice and flat from the underneath. And the other one, because you're going to wrap um, your padding and fabric round, you don't want to see all the 
unsightly bits on the other side when you tip the cut over. So, and the two bases, I don't know if you can come. So this, all this was, was card that was, had a shirt on. So, yeah, that'll do. <coughs> that'll do. And like I said, don't measure so don't. Mm, I'm terrible. Me and rulers don't get on. I'm no good at measurements at all. Someone says to me, one five eighths. I look at them like they're green and from another planet. So, I have no idea. I can't, I don't do measurements. We fell out, me and rulers, years ago. And there's just no going back now, so. That's better. See, who needs to measure? And you just guess. So that can go like that. That can go on there. It needs to come down a tad at the sides. And it's slightly skewed with the anyway. And I can't cut a straight line either. I am hopeless. Do you know what? The, I've got, I did have a guillotine, but I got rid of it. I've got that cutter. I've got a fistless cutter. And I've even got this one, which is the um, right, Fiskars Cathedral. I had one called Roll Cat. It was fantastic. It didn't matter how you put the freaking paper in, it cut it straight. I never ended up with a wrong, wonky piece of cardboard. But um, now I do. Every time I cut something, it's paralytic. Just as a note, it is. Every single time. So I bought this, the 5-in-1 Crafter's Companion. And I still cannot cut. I butt it right down to the bottom or right up to the top. Whatever way round I do it. It still comes out crooked. And that is crooked to begin with. So I don't know how I'm supposed to straighten that up. <laughs> Let's try it that way. Cut a little piece off there. said, me measurements, paper trimmers. Why it cutting? It's because it's not on a flat surface. It's, well it's flat but it's not on. There we go. Um, yeah, me and paper trimmers and you name it, we just do not see eye to eye on anything. And they never cut straight for me. So it, what's lacking here for me are straight lines, not just these little grids. The grid's no good because you can guarantee the piece of paper you're cutting is not going to fit in the grid. And I am absolutely hopeless. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Stay here with me, waffling on and on and on. So, right, there's my base. It's straighter than it was before. And that's going to fit just inside there. Which is great, that'll do. But I'll do for my tummy. Rock on, tummy. Do you remember that? <laughs> Rock on, tummy. I don't remember what it was, I just remember that two blokes, one with a little bloke, skinny bloke with curly hair and a moustache. They do the window ads for the double glazing now. Anyway, so you do that, you cut those out, you need two of those, so let's get the next one. And I ain't measuring nothing. I ain't measuring nothing. Because I'm useless. There we go. Right. So now, we've got our two points, uh, points, um, parts for the base. Right, I'm going to pause now, uh, not pause, stop recording now, and I'll come back with a part two because it's on 30 minutes. Okay, bye.